Hi, hi stars. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, welcome back to my channel. If you are a returner, what is up? How's everything going on your side? Let me know. Um, I'm really excited because people are starting to um, get a little bit more comfortable with commenting, um, letting me know that um, my readings are resonating with them. So thank you guys for that. Um, if you haven't, um, hit the like button and hit the subscribe button with a bell so that you can get notified whenever I pop up like, hey, reading, hey, whatever I got going on. If you have not checked out my channel, definitely scroll through and see what's going on with that because I, I do not just do tarot videos. There are other videos that um, may be beneficial to you if you're interested in cooking, if you're interested in meditation, if you're interested in yoga, um, if you're interested about um me talking about the chakras or um healing myself and spiritual uh related videos then definitely like scroll around on my channel um because you might find something that, that you like that will resonate with you <clears throat> so i wear my purple shirt um got my third eye activated my crown chakra right now balancing because i got my black on my root chakra got this blue mat on <laughs> for the third for the third chakra okay so um Okay, had to get some water. Mm. Okay, so this, my tarot cards right here that I got these dreams of, these dreams of Gaia. Oh my gosh, like not only, like I just really like love this deck. Um, for a while I struggled with finding a deck and, you know, um, one just wasn't like calling out to me strong enough to where I was just like, okay, you know. <clears throat> okay, so like I said, this is a collective, so I'm going to be shuffling and pulling out cards that want to come out and delivering the message that way as a collective universal whole. Okay, so let me pull it down so y'all can see the cards. Okay, so you already have the counselor wanted to come out and knowledge wanted to come out. And so yeah, guys, um I be wanting to talk a whole bunch. I've been wanting to talk a lot, you know, just to really like connect with other people. Cause I don't always get that um chance to connect with other people, so yeah, so like I said, this is a collective, so some of the messages are going to resonate 100% and some of them might um, not resonate at all. And that right there is perfectly fine as well. Okay. And it's funny because these cards are like really, really big for my hands. Like, so it's always fun to shuffle them. And see how I can go about doing it like that. Okay, so gonna pull. I'm gonna pull a look a couple more of these cards, um, the Dreams of Gaia cards, to see what else wants to come out. See what other messages for the collective that wants to come out. Oh, okay. They like here, yeah, take it. <laughs> so, okay. Okay, y'all. Wow back of the deck energy is check her out all right yes but yeah i'm still not finished because we have these cards over here which is my Yu-Gi-Oh um Yu-Gi-Oh tarot blend and my neopet trading um tarot blend Okay, we're just going to pull out so, so y'all can see me. We're going to pull out so many messages, and then I'm going to show you. Okay, because um, like I said, this is the collective. So, I want to get as many messages that wants to come out as possible. Okay. I want to get as many cards that wants to come out.
to get as many cards that wants to come out as possible so we can deliver the best message. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Oh, two Earl of Demises came out. So yes. <laughs> so, so yes, like I had something to say. Um, this energy that I'm getting right here, a lot of a lot of you are um yeah, like on this journey of like self-discovery. Um mm, this is beautiful actually. This is like really uh transformative energy. Okay, I'm getting goosebumps. <laughs> And whenever I get goosebumps, like what I'm saying is, is it, okay? Anything else from these that want to, that want to come out? Any other messages for the collective? It's a lot that want to come out. Like I said, y'all, it, it's going to be a lot because, and that's fine with me. As long as I get the message through. Okay, so now that I got the card messages down. I have all of these word um, word cards, so this will help the message come through very clearly. Okay, very clearly. Okay, and I'm just letting them fall <laughs> as they want to come out because sometimes they just jump out of my hand, and sometimes all of them wants to come out the second. Just a few. Okay, so we're gonna get a few here. From this and see what the message from your higher self from the universe from your angels from the higher realms I'll just call it the higher realms what they want to say from the higher realms what messages do they have for you um, from the higher realms it's just better to call it like call it that way because like I mean angels spirit guides and ancestors they're not the same thing but they they kind of um, they kind of are but they aren't so it you know people get a lot of people get super confused about it so that's why I'm just saying the higher realms okay because there are different dimensions beyond the 3d realm that we are in okay and ooh, okay so yeah like I said y'all this is a lot of cards up the computer. see a lot of cards so let's get it all in order okay let's get it all in order <clears throat> okay y'all I'm like I said, I'm just getting it in order. I'm getting it in order, so don't be like, is she taking forever? Oh, we got some music that wanted to come out. Some music songs. Okay, so I'm gonna pull up these songs because they are necessary. I haven't gotten to them yet, but. I like to pull all the cards out so I can see what I'm 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 dealing with. Okay, y'all. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay, so for a lot of y'all, you guys are in the process of shifting your perception. Um switching things in your life okay coming to terms like okay it's time for a change what can I do where can I start okay so a lot of you are in the process of this transformation okay and when you're in the process of transformation that that um, opens doors for you to you know for you to ask questions and you might have a lot of questions you know on this journey like of discovery because when you go on any journey it's discovery okay and I feel like for a lot of you 
look at all these cards i'm trying to get you to see them like i feel like for a lot of you um back it up yeah okay so i feel like for a lot of you um you are in the transition stage okay with this weapon change you have moved from a place of like masculine energy where it's all about you know um being logical and not really being creative and just you know using using your um uh, using your sword okay now is the time to uh put your weapons down and it's all about a time of letting go and receiving okay this is the this is the overall energy that i'm getting okay letting go and receiving with this back of the oh snap okay so with this back of the deck energy look at these two cards this was the one on the main back okay it looks like her hands are bound okay it looks like her hands are bound Let me get it so you can see it i hope you guys can see that it looks like it's bound okay but she at the end of the day she still has these answers she still has this knowledge she still has this inner knowing she's still graceful she's you know she still looks pure okay and she's protected like look at this energy around her head okay she has that knowledge and she is protected okay she is protecting her knowledge she is protecting herself okay perception so a lot of you need to switch your perception or that's where you are right now on this journey you know of discovery you're at the point where you're switching your perception um okay so a lot of you this was the front half of it a lot of you guys need to um connect yep mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yes so this is about like this self card okay a lot of you need to connect with yourself connect with your higher self okay it's not so much like your angels it's really like this this whole journey is really like about you about uh, stepping into your power okay and realizing what you can do okay because you are protected and guided at all times but this is about stepping into your own power realizing get a little close realizing your own power realizing your own strength okay realizing all that you can do this is talking about like going within realizing what is actually inside of you okay most like it's passion it's desire it's it's a need to do something greater to connect with mother nature to connect with all things okay this right here is talking about compromise okay this <laughs> love come down right above it um and you know that's not oh no miss my love Come down, make it go all the way down. Oh, make my love. Come down, make it go all the way down. Anyways, yeah, so this is about you compromising. Masculine and feminine, okay? You're, the energies that have within you, okay? You need to create a balance. You need to compromise. Now is the time for you to lay that masculine side down and bring out your feminine energy. Even if I'm talking to a male, you too have feminine energy. And that is your creative side, okay? That is what you do out of love and passion and desire. That is your feminine side. Okay, the counselor right here, yeah, this represents letting go of your... Oh, look, you should go. Okay, <laughs> what else to say? Let it go. Okay, yes, let go of those gender biases, okay? How you feel like... Okay, you know, we were taught... We were taught how a man and how a woman should act, Okay. Those people that taught us that were taught wrong and they are still delivering that message to their offspring. Now, I'm not saying, okay, your mom taught you wrong or your dad taught you wrong. Well, actually, I am saying that. Um, yeah, I am saying that. Most of us, even myself, we were, we were taught wrong, okay? We were taught in a society or in a lifetime where you're either one or the other. There was no, you know, that there was no you're a man and you're being feminine no that makes you that makes you fruity that makes you uh, uh flamboyant like no and if you were you know a woman and you were you know a tomboy no like i said that no get that out of here we're, we're not doing that that's not how females are supposed to act okay we have this whole gender bias okay of how one is supposed to act when really there is a balance both are needed you need to be male i mean you need to be masculine and feminine you need to harness both energies to create that balance 
Okay, that's why he looks um, both masculine and feminine, but beautifully well made. Okay, so let go of those gender biases, okay? Men are supposed to be um, feminine just as much as they are masculine because that is the balance. And a lot of the times, like a lot of the times, and even if you are a mother, okay, if you are a mother to a son, please don't teach your son that crying is only for girls okay that is not true and a lot of guys grow up thinking that and it is not true it's not okay and oof, toned up a little bit <laughs> sorry about that let me calm it down a little bit but for real because it's not true men should cry should be allowed to cry with no um condemnation just like women should be allowed to express themselves without any form of condemnation it's all about being true to yourself but letting go okay this society has told us that you know basically men don't cry you know you cry you're weak you cry you're no offense to you you cry you're you know you know a wuss that's a sissy yeah like if yeah like when you when a man cry like look, the father that's right there at the front like look how he looking like you better not cry i'm watching my sons he better not that's not how a man acts okay and a lot of you have um abandonment issues okay i'm getting like father issues maybe your father was absent maybe he passed away maybe he just wasn't in your life a lot of you guys have father parent issues okay uh, daddy issues um, you know you weren't taught the proper ways to do stuff okay you didn't have a leader okay you didn't have someone to really follow to follow um, a good example with okay that's that's what I'm getting from the more money more problems okay Percep perception shift okay look at that perception shift more money more problems money does not bring problems M having money does not mean more problems is gonna come. okay so you need to switch your perception with that when you get money your life becomes more easier okay more flowing that doesn't mean just because you're getting more money that you're gonna automatically have more responsibilities no it's not gonna happen that way um, unless you feel like unless you that's how you perceive it because it will happen like that if that's how you perceive it okay because your thoughts and you know what you think consistently so if you feel like money is a problem and the more you have the more problems you're gonna have it's actually vice versa but if you feel like that then that is going to be your reality but if you switch your perception to the more money um, I, I get the less problems I'll have the more I'll be able to do um, yeah just switch your perception because like again with the father you might be an actual father like you might be an yeah like okay that explains why i said like if you're a parent okay yeah so if you are a father um to a son do not try not to yeah don't tell your son that uh being crying makes them less of a man because it doesn't that's not true okay knowledge you need to do more knowledge on that because if you feel like, uh, yeah, oh, okay. What did Elsa say? Let it go? Yeah, okay, so let go, like I said, let go of that false knowledge that you felt like you had and do more research, okay, if you need to or if you have questions or if you need guidance, do more knowledge, okay, get the answers. That's what I feel like a lot of you are doing. Like a lot of you are starting to realize that, okay, what I taught wasn't right. It doesn't make any sense. Like, no, I'm, you know, I want to do something else. And like, he's, he's, uh, he's in this book and he's got books back there and he's got, you know, yeah, like just, just, I'm just knowledge is all that's coming like with knowledge you need to do more research you need to get more answers compromise and this compromise is really between yourself okay this is a compromise between yourself masculine and feminine energies okay they are both at conflict right now in you but you need to um yeah you need to um <laughs> you can hate me now but I won't back down. That's another song. 
and this is right it was right above you know the self so yeah that's <laughs> that's all about like like uh becoming in love with yourself showing yourself unconditional love okay because if you are um at the point where you're like um well I will love myself but first I gotta do this and I will love myself when this happens no see right there that's called conditional love under circumstances that you will love yourself but if you are loving yourself unconditional it doesn't matter where you are right now you're just fully in love with yourself you're in love the fact that you're you're right here right now in this moment that's unconditional love like not having um terms of which that's you're not having um yeah terms of you know like okay i'll love you when this happens or i'll love you when i get rich or i love you when no those are conditional loves okay i will love you under those set standards set circumstances those are conditional loves but to love yourself no matter what no matter what oh i failed at this okay that's cool we get back up i love you okay love yourself no matter what that is unconditional love that is exactly what that is okay so moving on from these cards and moving on to the lower cards which have a lot okay this right here which is funny because you also have um other eating um other eating cards okay i'm gonna just pull these to the front because they're relevant right now okay and then you have this it says cheesy pineapple sticks this is food always a hit at parties then you have this big koala a species of huge desqualla he's meek but people are afraid of him because he's very powerful look at that nurturing or nourishing sorry nourishing the body okay and you can see the energy around him because he's eating those greens okay yeah so with this big koala yeah this is all about him um eating that green those leafy greens and enjoying himself and becoming the healthiest version of himself possible okay and then with this montando fruit you guys need to eat more fruits and more vegetables okay i don't know what you're eating but spirit is like uh we gotta you we gotta eat better okay we can't we can't be um full of energy and we can't be our best selves if we're not eating right okay we have to be eating right we have to be drinking right okay yes with this spring of rebirth some of you guys are forgetting to drink water forgetting to hydrate yourselves okay don't forget that because that is important you guys are made up we 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 all are I, even myself are made up of over 70 percent of water so when you sweat when you pee when you cry um you're releasing water from the body and if your body doesn't have enough water to rehydrate yourself it's going to take water from your organs like your heart and your lungs and your liver and then you know your body is going to start like need i say more your body is going to start like this and you have two of those you have two of those so not only are you drained of energy you are burnt out you need to rest some of you guys need to rest you are wearing yourselves out wearing yourselves out like what do you if you if for example if you run your vehicle if you run your 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 car and you keep running it after it's you know it's popped up the little um, engine sign letting you know that there's a problem and you still driving it you still driving it what's gonna happen eventually the car is gonna break down okay then you're gonna have to put it in the shop it's gonna take forever then you're gonna have to figure out the backup okay and so this I feel like represents your health okay think of that that's that think of your um, body like a vehicle like your vehicle you wanted to keep you know keep going and keep going but you're not taking care of it 
And what's going to happen is your body is going to shut down. Okay? You are burning yourself out because you're not resting. You might be restless and suffer from insomnia. But you are burnt out. You are restless. Absorb spell of absorbing life. Okay, yes. You are drained of energy but you're still going you're so persistent which is a good thing but rest is also important okay rest is so important like nobody talks about why sleep is so important but it's because like like i said your body is a vehicle okay and you're running it and running it and running it without letting it sit okay you're overheating your vehicle which in this case is your body okay and um I see a lot of stuff that you guys have to let go or you are in the process of letting go or um, you need to let go of. But yeah, let me read this card. If I told you you are what you eat, would you eat healthier and bless your food? Would you drink more water and laugh more and go outside more? That's what I need you to do. Be the best you you can be. And that's a message from spirit. Be the best you you can be, okay? Be the best you. That means you have to make um, good eating habits. You have to remember to drink water for yourself. You have to do these things, okay? You are responsible for that vehicle that is your body. You are responsible for it. Nobody else, just you, because it is your body. Okay, all right, let's see what else we got going on here. Oh, okay, so um, I am here, always feel me near. So some of you have a loved one that, um, that stays near you. This card comes out a lot um, when I'm doing this reading. When I'm doing um, readings um, for like messages, yeah. So I am here, feel me near. I am here always, feel me near. I get goosebumps. Okay, so loved one, angel, guides, ancestors, you are never alone. Okay, and um, d yeah, like you are never alone. Like when you feel like you are in your darkest moments and you feel like you're alone, you are being reminded that no, you are never alone. You are not. Um, okay, this goes back to the plant, this harmonious, the alchemic being. Okay, this is a reminder that as above, so below. Yeah, as above, so below. Okay, you are a star. You are a stardust. Okay, you also need to remember to ground yourself. Um, not to uh, be so resistant to change. Okay, because when you're resistant to change, that makes the journey a lot harder. Like, look at him. Look at his mouth. He's like, I can still go. I still have fight in me. But he's like, he's he's... You know, he's super struggling. So don't uh, try not to resist change so much. Okay. Change is inevitable. Just like um, a lot of things are inevitable and outside of our control. So when change is happening and you uh, feel like you are not in control and don't get upset, you know, don't shut down when things are happening and you can't do anything to control it. Okay. Because that that being resistant is only uh causing pain and stuff like that so we have a lot of dragon energy pitch dark dragon luster dragon enchanted javelin inferno okay so these cards right here y'all arch fiend soldier He always, he's famous because he always gets the job done sonic bird in reverse okay so yeah um, let me tell y'all real quick. The angels are very present. They are very, very present and they want to they want to be known, okay? They they want you they want you to succeed. And when I say angels, I'm referring to the higher realms, okay? The the beings in the higher realms that we can't like that do not have the physical body okay i'm talking about like look guardians arch fiends soldiers we have the griffin's feather duster angel wings like okay y'all like did i say did i say the angels are present yes the beings from the the energy from the higher realms are very very present and they want to let you know that they are like look at this the forgiving maiden 
sorry this just wanted to pop out before i said the forgiving maiden is all about forgiving yourself goosebumps are approaching <laughs> goosebumps are here yes this is all about forgiving yourself okay forgiving yourself for the things that you didn't do or the things that you feel like you haven't done right or forgive yourself for whatever it is that you're holding on to that you're bottling up that you're not speaking out loud forgive yourself okay you can't you cannot um move forward by just suppressing and by burying emotions it, it won't work like that because when you're not when you're just suppressing them you are creating a trigger for yourself and when we have a trigger anything in any body becomes a victim to our wrath when we have a trigger you are being called to forgive yourself okay forgive yourself every day if you have to forgive yourself look in the mirror and tell yourself i forgive you say it say it say it until you until you're comfortable with gatekeepers guard again you are so protected call on that energy like when you feeling when you're feeling low when you're feeling like you just can't do it you like i said you have a lot you are so protected you have a lot of energy right here and these these energies are like warriors like look at me y'all if you need them if you need something if you need anything if you need somebody to talk to if you need guidance if you need somebody to come through with the energy yo look they are here like that hole right there let me show you let me just show you let me just show you this um dragon right here in union I feel like this is a guide. I feel like this is a guide. Look at this. Look at them. Guardian. This is the angel wing. Guardian. 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 Spirit animal. Okay. They 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 might um birds might catch your attention. Um and when that does, that's just like, you know, a reminder, like, be free in your thoughts. Take a leap of faith in your ideas. Okay, this is just, they come to you and sometimes you might notice the signs, sometimes you might not. Okay, but at the end of the day, that doesn't change the fact that they are still there with you, always by your side. Okay, no doubt about that. Feel them near. Okay, it's all about feeling. Okay, it's not... Like, we get so caught up in what our eyes can see that we don't... That's tunnel vision, okay? If you're focusing on only what your eyes can see, there's so much going on, okay? Tunnel vision. You have to bring in all your senses. I'm getting goosebumps again. You got to bring in all your senses, okay? You have to bring in this, 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 this. You have to bring it all in when you're connecting with um, the higher realms, okay? Because sometimes... Um, It'll just be a voice in your head. Sometimes you'll get a random weird taste in your or smell. Like those are little signs, okay, that you should be paying attention to because that's your guys like, hey, here's the smell of a flower. Like I hope your day is better. Okay, and they just come. Okay. With this green energy as well, and I did say angels. Okay, so I'm getting like Archangel Raphael. That's my angel right there. Okay, and this is all about healing energy. Okay, healing yourself, healing your past trauma, healing your emotions. This is all about forgiving. Forgiving. Okay, with this, uh, th this is a spirit animal, spirit guide. Okay, emerald green makes me think of Archangel Michael because he is associated with the color green. He's associated with healing. Okay. In emerald green, specifically emerald green. That's his color. So this Archangel Michael, call on him. He is protecting you. He is guiding you. He is healing you. Okay, so in the healing department, Archangel Raphael is the healer angel. So when you're doing healing or anything like that, bring him in. When you need help forgiving or healing your heart, invite him in. Okay, Archangel Michael, um, come to me. Help heal me. Thank you. I appreciate it. Gratitude. Okay, so when you're calling on him, make sure that you're also expressing gratitude. Thank you for healing me. Thank you for nourishing my body and bringing it back to health and stuff like that. Okay, because if I'm helping you, 
a thank you would be nice and that that's the same thing for the higher rounds okay if i'm helping you i think you would be nice okay and if it's deeper than that okay i'll alter set up you know like stuff like that that matters but yeah like um moving on to but yeah like i said you are very 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 protected there are a lot the, the, the most thing that holding holding uh you guys is up is the fact that um you you guys need to rest that is the rest okay you are burned out and if you were a vehicle you would have been broken down by now okay and i don't know it curse of the dragon i don't know if you're currently sick right now but um and by sick this could be like a headache or this could be any form of like sick like mental or physical okay no um yeah so yeah you need to like you need to tap into this healing energy okay you need to like there's a stuff there's some like i said there's some shifts that are happening and some energies that are in balance nature heals all okay connecting with nature as above so below heaven is on earth if you're mentally if you're mentally believing it okay if you're mentally creating it then it is if you're living in a mental hell then on the outside it will be hell on earth for you as above so below okay okay and i'm like weapons change switch your percep switch your percep perception okay graceful charity you have gifts spiritual gifts you have um gifts coming like as in the form of manifestations it's coming look at her hands out like thank you it's coming it is coming y'all it is on the way but um if you feel like it's not happening oh relinquished relinquished this is your energy okay you are feeling completely depleted completely done okay the you you yeah so you definitely need to um work on intaking a lot of water um intaking more when i say raw i mean uncooked fruits and vegetables okay i'm talking about instead of um cooking your broccoli maybe rinsing it off and eating it raw y'all never had that before like the raw broccoli in the like container with the cauliflower and the broccoli and the carrots the dressing but anyways um yes so yeah you know like eat raw fruits and vegetables without cooking them and um notice how you feel like don't eat like i'm not saying don't eat i'm saying like um when you <laughs> when you eat your fruits and vegetables raw pay attention to your body like when you're eating it pay attention to the taste of it pay, pay attention to the texture pay attention to what you're putting in your body and don't just pay attention to it be grateful be grateful that you know the broccoli is um giving you vitamins and minerals that your body needs you know be grateful for those things okay and then you have this robot robotic knight controls his troops okay this is a, oh look right right under the forgiving maiden okay controlling your emotions okay okay, okay, okay. when things don't go right how do you respond do you flip out or are you just like cool as a cucumber like i know something's better is on the way that might not have been for me but it's cool or do you flip if you flip this is saying control how control your emotions control your emotions when things are out of your control monster reborn and you have spring of rebirth okay like um i feel like this is about uh monster reborn like rediscovering yourself rediscovering your passion and your power and then there's three birds there and then one of these cards had the number three on it as well and i just remembered that i wanted to look up the angel message three because i see three a lot three is like my number like i see three all the time okay and let me real quick all right y'all so angel message three when number three appears in front of you it means that you are that you are doing the right thing so 
okay you are doing the right thing by watching this video you are doing the right thing so that um so you can know what to do so you can know what's going on so you can know okay yes you need to forgive yourself okay you need to eat um, pay attention to what you're eating drink more water you need to release you need to invite okay if you're doing all of those things or if you're in the process of just you know the first start okay researching knowledge okay whatever you're researching and knowledge okay that they're like yes that's good that is the right path you just have to move forward and follow the signs what I say okay like they come to you in birds they through feathers you might you might um, be prone to finding feathers what else that yeah like you uh certain colors might catch your attention okay just make sure you're paying attention your angels will send you different signs and they will help you find the best life path for you you should never be afraid because angels will bring you success and happiness okay number three okay what i say yeah so that's good. Um, yeah, what else? Love come okay, so you can hate me now. But I won't back down. Look up that song. Okay. And the look, yes. Yes. Okay, like this came out like all of this, all of what you got going on here, like taking if you're taking small steps, if you're taking um giant leaps, okay, if you're trying to rush it and get it done, they're like, Whoa, 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 whoa. The answer is yes, but take your time okay there is no rush take your time get some rest rest is important okay you cannot be successful unrested because you're not going to be able to enjoy it what happens when a child is sleepy they get really really cranky and really really whiny and really really annoying <laughs> and that's literally like everybody i have not met anybody who get sleepy don't go to sleep and don't have an attitude of some sort like really at, like not like necessarily like an attitude but like real like agitated and easily if i poke you you're exploding <laughs> okay what else because i still haven't got all the messages i'm almost done though okay so the answers come when you are not doing anything okay not doing anything that could be meditation that could just be sitting outside that could just be walking out in nature um if i didn't say it already nature is your best friend and your that is the way that you connect that is the way that you ground by walking barefoot outside by getting your feet on the ground like your bare feet on the ground on the ground walking connecting and breathing connecting happens automatic you just breathe as you're walking around in the ground, the thoughts are just going to whoop. And when the thoughts go whoop, the ideas are going to go whoop. And you're going to be like, oh my God, I need to write that down. Oh, yes. Writing things down is very, very, very important. When, you, when the ideas come to you, write them down, okay? Because they will come. And sometimes they come in multiples. <laughs> so it's important to write things down. Um, what else to say? Let it go. My money, my problems. Okay. It's funny because the answers come when you are doing nothing. And then it says, X yourself. Ask yourself more questions. Then wait. Pause for answers. Do not expect anything. Okay. The reason why it says do not expect anything is because sometimes when we ask the question, we are already thinking about what the answer could be or what we want the answer could be like you know no don't don't expect anything just wait and listen just wait and listen ask the question wait and listen don't try to overthink your thoughts when you overthink it you won't you won't get you won't get anything you won't get anything you'll feel like why did I even ask myself? I need to ask somebody else. <laughs> um, consistency will get you there. Okay, so make sure that you are being consistent. Okay, so there is no... This is the main thing I found out on this journey. There is no one and done. You don't do things one time and that's it. Nope, you have to consistently do it. You have to do it every freaking day. 
for 21 days and then at that point it'll be like unconscious behavior like breathing seriously 21 days consistency will get you there procrastination complaining playing victim will hold you up so if you have been doing any of those things that is why you feel um hold, held up also you have like a, i'm gonna keep saying it you have to get rest if you have to listen to music if you have to read a book because sometimes you know when you read a book at night <laughs> go right to sleep you do whatever like you need to rest you don't need to you need to pick a day to where you're not doing nothing if you have kids and you have somebody that will um you know help you with the kids have them have them do that mm -mm. just have a day to yourself Okay, not and it doesn't even have to be like a full 24 hours to yourself. Just you need to take some time. Okay, so you need to rest. Okay, if that's like a 30 minute nap, take it. Take what you can get. Don't complain about it. Oh, you can only watch them for 30 minutes. I can't get an hour and a half or something. Take what you can get and enjoy it. Okay, you'd be surprised what the 30 minute nap can do. I've taken a 30 minute nap before. Like surprised me that I even fell asleep. And I took a 30 minute nap. Woke up like. Oh, good morning. <laughs> okay. Boy or girl. Just wow. You need me to remind you that you slay blazing. Stunned for nothing. Money getting success. Big money grip. Body on thick. Stop playing. You didn't forget. You're, you Stop playing. You didn't forget you're awesome. I love you. I'm going to read it again. Boy, girl, okay, y'all. <sighs> Talking like I get a little thirsty. Um, oh, yes, boy, girl, just wow. You need me to remind you that you slay blazing, stun for nothing, money getting success. Big money grip body on thick. Stop playing. You didn't forget. You're awesome. I love you. <laughs> For real. Sometimes, <clears throat> you know, but um, I just want to say, like, don't forget that you're awesome. Because when you forget that you're awesome, it doesn't matter if I feel like you're awesome. It doesn't matter if your mama feel like you're awesome. It doesn't matter if your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, whatever, feel like you're awesome. If you don't feel like you're awesome then you're not awesome. But if you feel like you slay blazing body on thick, 100%, <laughs> then that's exactly what you are. What you think is true. What you believe is true. Okay. Another card. You are stuck in the past, not forgiving them. Where is it? What did I say? What is it? Forgiving Maiden. Yes. Oh, interesting. Interesting that they... I'm going to just put her in your face so you can see. She's crying too. You see? She's crying and there, there's a loved one right there. She's grieving. Okay. She's not forgiving herself. She's not, for, she's not forgiving herself for not being there. She's not forgiving the people who did it. She's not forgiving the universe. She's not forgiving anything or anybody. She's holding on. You are stuck in the past. Not forgiving them or yourself just curious what are you proving if you do not want to forgive them don't but you have to live with yourself so forgive yourself mic drop need I say more need I say more <laughs> okay that's it and I believe this is the last one whatever questions you have ask them out loud Oh my gosh, uh, we have like, we have three, plus this card right here that literally shows her sitting in meditation, just sitting and being with herself, and um, if, also, if you don't know how to meditate, I have, um, I have a couple of videos on my page as well about meditation, but meditation is, it's just a way to calm your mind, and there are many ways to meditate okay you don't necessarily have to be sitting like this you can be sitting in a chair you can be laying down okay it's just you're just sitting and you're not you're sitting laying standing you're just you're just not doing anything okay you're not
talking to somebody else you're not watching TV you're just you're just not doing anything literally you're not doing anything you're just sitting okay you can close your eyes I like to close my eyes some people don't like to close their eyes they like to stare in one spot I like to close my eyes because I blink and I don't want to feel like <laughs> I don't know like if blinking is wrong it's not but I'm just saying like I just I like to close my eyes because I like my imagination to run wild but yes that's one way to meditate and there are many other ways to meditate but one second I keep leaving and stuff y'all <laughs> Okay, but yes, finally, whatever questions you have, because y'all, we are connected to the universe, because we are the universe. We are made of stardust, okay? It's in our DNA, okay? So if you feel like you can't connect to the universe, you're pretty much saying like you can't connect with yourself. Something about, okay? So, um, also, the answers that you have, you, your higher self is connected through your crown chakra, through your, like, <laughs> it's all connected. Like, we have, y'all, we just are more than, we are more than human. We are awesome, okay? We, we just awesome. Like, we have answers that we don't need anybody else for, okay? We have a knowing inside of ourselves. We call it our higher selves, our intuition. You know, how else do we have those gut feelings, our spidey sense? If, if you know, like, we are stars, y'all. We are stars. We are a part of the whole collective universe. Okay? Anyways, whatever questions you have, ask them out loud. Then sit and do nothing until you have received your answer. If you second guess your inner knowing, you may force yourself to learn an unnecessary hard lesson okay so you just think about that and um that was it y'all it was so good this was so fun okay this was beautiful and fun and this collective message like just let go let go of the things that you can't control let go of the hurt let go of the pain because it's really not doing it's not doing you any good it's not doing the people around you any good okay it's not it's holding you back but spirit came through angels came through like you are on the right path just by watching this video okay you are on the right path consistency y'all so things don't have there's no one and done consistency is necessary it's needed okay it's a must so you make sure that you're being consistent with yourself and make sure you just you talking to yourself look in the mirror look at yourself more okay and that's what i have for you you can look up these songs love come down um let it go by uh elsa <laughs> more money more problems i think that's p diddy and um you can hate me now i don't really know the rest of that song but i won't back down but i think that's p diddy too but yes that's it that's all i have y'all like comment subscribe let me know down below if that resonated with y'all so until next time i send my love and big squeezes